Very good. All right, um, you know, obviously, uh, it's an emotional day. Coach Bowden passing away this morning. Um, you know, something that actually started off our morning uh, together as a team. We talked about Coach Bowden, his legacy, the man that he was, and the legacy that he left. Think about the impact that he made throughout his life. 91 years old, we talked about it last week, the peace that he was at even at this at, at that stage in his life because he, he, he knows what he accomplished, he knows what he gave, and we know where he's at right now. He was with us today. He's been limited to where, all the things he could do physically, being a part of this team and uh, being able to be able to come out and uh, be on the practice field, but there's no doubt that today his spirit was with us. And I'm so honored and grateful for the opportunity to have known him. And now the opportunity to represent him and what we do my job with this team and with this program. It's a very emotional day. Dell, Ron, yeah. it hit us all. We're grateful for the example of Coach Bobby Bowden. And we're going to honor him in everything that we do each and every day. Right? Because he helped build this place to something that is incredibly special. With all of his heart and all of his life. And we're grateful for him. Questions. Like you're talking about just what did he tell you like when you got the job, did he speak to you at some point and just give you a message of some sort like, and, and that's called to coach Bob back when you got the job? You know, uh, I got an opportunity to meet with him the um, first couple months that I, that I was here on the job. He came up to the office. He said, follow your heart, be, be true to who you are, and give everything you have each and every day to help impact these kids, this program. That's what I try to do. Because he did that. He, he was the example of that. And uh, you know, that's the standard of what all of us have to try to match. Whether you're in coaching, whether you're out of coaching, as you go through this life, I mean, that's, he was a tremendous, tremendous example of how to impact and how to serve. So we're going to work. Even before your arrival here, how much did he impact your career, how you go about doing your job, and just what coaches do for a living? Uh, I mean, uh, I've told people before, that was one of the reasons that I came to Florida State. Because this program was the standard. It was. How he did it. It was different. There's plenty of places that, that you know, they care about the jersey number. He cared about the heart. He, taught, he cared about the experience. I came here because I wanted to get back to that. I want to get back to that with, with how the, what this program stands for. You know, on the field, off the field. The impact that it can make. He changed coaching. He changed it. He's a special man. And uh, uh, obviously, there's a lot of people that, uh, that have been, been impacted by him directly. You know, uh, I sent him, uh, Ron and Odell I went and uh, they had the opportunity to go see him last week. And I sent a note. I wasn't going to take somebody's spot that had got the, 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 the direct impact of him throughout their life. I wanted to leave that opportunity for those those people to, to be able to see him face to face. But I sent him a note. I talked about that indirect impact that he had. So everybody could talk about the former players, the, all the great teams. From a young kid in Irving, Texas, growing up, I got to watch it. Now I get to represent it. So I told him I'm not going to let him down. I think you said before that the first time you saw him interact with Mr. Coach Agents, like, you know, when we get to the same day, they acted to him. It's what coaching is all about. Like, it's what life is all about. So, I got some.